Thank you, Sanjay. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Nikhil. I'm um, a senior director and uh, general manager at Yodli, responsible for our data products. So first of all, I want to thank you all for your time here today. Um, we at Yodli see a lot of innovation going on in the space today. Um, if you are a developer and an entrepreneur, it's a great time to be in this market. You are in the right market at the right time. So there is a lot of disintermediation going on in the bank space. If you, some of these are, sorry, this is behaving weird, okay. So these are some of these examples. PayPal, a few years ago, started doing, build out the largest P2P network and today powered more than billions of transactions. In response to that, the banks created a clear exchange network, which was a consortium of a bunch of banks, primarily Bank of America, Chase, and Wells Fargo. They haven't been able to get any scale as close to PayPal and only drive a fraction of the payments. Sorry. Um, Square. On the other side, can I get a help with this? This thing keeps mowing. Yeah, it just keeps mowing. Sorry about that. So Square, um, Square has disrupted the merchant services space. Anyone with a mobile phone and a free reader provided by Square can now accept payments. So all the small businesses, the micro businesses, um, mobile businesses have, are predominantly using Square, and these guys are driving billions of dollars of transactions every month. Again, this inter intermediating the banks. Cabbage, they are on our platform they are into small business lending. So they have streamlined the entire process of generating and creating loans, doing credit decisioning for small businesses and have disengaged the banks and the small business uh, association. Crowdfunding is another area that has had a lot of innovation. By, by, by connecting really creative people with people who want to fund them, they have created a marketplace that has driving a lot of innovation in that space. So like, uh, like those companies who are disintermediating the banks, there are a bunch of, there's a bunch of innovation going on in the payment space. Stripe, VPay, Braintree, which is now acquired by PayPal, and Amazon Payments are basically, provi by providing simple, easy to use, well-documented APIs are allowing a lot of apps to directly integrate and use their services. Stripe also provides what they call Stripe.js, uh, a functionality that allows apps to directly uh, not store their account numbers, thus relieving them of any compliance burden around PCI. So like the innovation that's going on in the payment space, there is a tremendous amount of innovation going on in the financial data aggregation space. So let me explain you what I mean by financial data aggregation. A typical consumer has anywhere between three to five different bank accounts or different types of accounts. They are bank accounts, credit cards, loans, insurance, investments. Unfortunately, they are not held at the same bank. They are spread across multiple FIs. So, through a service like ours in financial aggregation, we allow that consumer to aggregate all of his accounts into a single place. In this example, this is Citibank running on the Yodli platform. So you can see that the user can has his city accounts, but he has also aggregated his non-city account, which is his Bank of America account, into our platform. This data then gets refreshed every day, and the data is available in our platform and for the developers to use and build really innovative apps 
which in this case is the expense analysis app. So Yodli is the default standard for uh, financial data aggregation. We have the largest, most secure, and most mature platform. We have over 15 million registered users. I'm sorry, 15 million active users on our platform. We have over 50 million users registered for whom we actually bring in the data on a regular basis. We, we have about 12,500 different sites. These are different financial institutions that we connect to globally across the world. So this is in the US, India, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, most countries. We have over 750 different customers who use this. And this is broadly divided into financial institutions. So half of these are real FIs, while the other half are consumer internet companies like Google, PayPal, Amazon. So let's talk a little bit about the platform. So what our platform does is we, pro we provide a, a very well, a good set of well-documented, clean APIs that allow users, allow developers, to bring in the data for their consumers into our platform. These APIs um, are, we also provide something called as a fast link, which makes the initial ad account process very simple. The data underlying the, plat the APIs is dynamic, and we do a lot of normalization and cleansing of that data. What that means is irrespective of which account or which FI you add into our platform, you will always get a consistent set of data out. Our platform is secure. Uh, we connect to all the banks. We go through over 90 different audits. We are also audited by the government. So we are both bank and government friendly. We are scalable. You, know, you saw the numbers on the previous slide. We do um, 15 million active accounts are refreshed almost every day. So for our developer community, uh, we have over 2,200 registered developers on our portal. Uh, we service over 30 different sub-verticals. This ranges from core banking, PFM, on one side, to wealth management, to small business lending, all the way to divorce resolution on the other spectrum, where couples, where they use the accounts to validate the funds. So this is a very mature platform that can be used to build really innovative apps. We do over 27 million API calls per day and over 15 million users. So Yodli has been in the business for about 15 years, but we are a very innovative company, and innovation runs in our DNA. We are now, about three weeks ago, we launched a really cool feature on our platform, which is around merchant identification and geo. So using natural language processing and machine learning techniques, we take transactions data, and we match that with a global database of merchants and store IDs, so we can precisely identify where a specific transaction occurred. Then that data comes through our APIs and is available for developers to use and build really innovative apps. Some of these could be location-based spending apps, um, location-based expense analysis, or offers based on where the consumers are spending. While, these, uh, while we have over 300 different apps, different developers using our platform. I would like to spend some time talking over some of these guys who are uh, startups but are soon to be pretty big guys. So let's start with BillGuard. BillGuard is antivirus for credit card. They look at all of your transactions, your credit card transactions, and they try and match that with publicly available data sets like uh, fraud data, complaint data from uh, CFPB, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, as well as uh, social data sets. And they'll try and identify great charges and alert you. With all the recent data breaches, breaches in the industry, uh, these guys have got a lot of traction. Personal finance, personal capital. These, have, these guys have built a really cool mobile interface for PFM, which allows users to aggregate all of their data and then share that information with their advisors. So they are disrupting on the wealth management space. Venmo is the coolest peer-to-peer -peer app, payment app in Gen Y. They've added a social component to it, 
and it's really popular along the millennials. LearnVest, on the other hand, is what I would call Mint plus personal finance. It's Mint for women plus personal finance. So they are targeted women. They allow consumers, women, to add accounts into their app and um, provide advisory services on top of that. This one here um, is Zero. Zero is a small business accounting company. When they, went, when they joined our platform a few years ago, they were just branching out of New Zealand. Today, they are globally available. They have grown tremendously. Uh, they are a good alternative to online small business accounting. Cabbage. Cabbage does small business lending. Using the transaction data on our platform and credit decisioning, they have made the whole process of getting the, uh, finance for small business very easy. Wisely is what we call Yelp for data. Based on the transactions data, they figure out where people spend, how frequently they spend, and how much they spend. They provide local restaurant reviews based on that data. And lastly, Dola. Uh, it's a really cool payment app that leverages, that bypasses cards altogether and um, uh, allows consumers to make cash payments to other people on Dola. Um, as well as dual powered businesses. So guys, the intent here is, uh, I would like to iterate that this is, the, the timing is right, you have the right platform and the right tools to build the next generation of really cool financial apps. Thank you. Some time for uh, uh, a couple of questions. I have one myself. Uh, you know, most of the people here, by the way, there's plenty of space in the front. Please uh, come to the front if you'd like to. I think we'll uh, Most of the people here are entrepreneurs writing, you know, new applications. Uh, how can they use the Yodli platform at least to create, you know, sample applications? Uh, the Super portal is available. You guys can sign up. Uh, we have some sample code there. We have some sample apps there. Um, there is also some free evaluation period that the company provides. So they can just sign up and start building apps. So Venmo uses Yodli for doing verification of the accounts. So you, when you make pay, P2P payments, you need to verify one of your bank accounts. And so you users provide the credentials to us, and we go and we bring back data that makes sure that the account that you are providing is the one that you own and you have the rights for. Okay. Uh, there's a question at the very back, and then we'll take Srikant. Yeah. How would okay. that Why don't we take Srikant's question since he had the mic? Uh, uh, about the... Just a second. Uh, about... Go ahead. So our APIs are standard. They don't matter across the country, across the data. So our in, we have um, a couple of banks that we have tightly integrated through feeds. Most of the other banks are through scraping. Uh, you would still get the same data set as we would get across other, other network. And in terms of the APIs, they are available across regions. So you can build the same apps um, for in India as well. So, Nikhil, maybe to answer further, are there any pe uh, developers who have already built apps which are targeting the Indian market? Um, I'm sorry, but I, I, I probably need to check that. I'm not very okay. sure. Okay, there was a gentleman with the mic here. Yeah, I had the same question actually because that is more relevant from the Indian context. Okay. So then he's answered that already. Thanks. The gentleman at the back. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, I my question is uh, more related to security uh, aspects. So. Do you mind how standing up? I can't see who's who. Yeah. Yeah. So how would Adly uh, retrieve the, uh, I mean, uh, confidential in transaction information from a bank to a Adly platform without uh, customer providing his username and password? So basic premise here is that uh, for a held away account, not the held account. So which if you are coming in from, say, Bank X, we are tightly integrated with the bank, and we don't need your credentials. So we already get that data. 
But if you're trying to add an outside account, then you have to provide us those credentials one time that we can go authenticate that you, are, you have that account and then start pulling on your data. And then after that, we will automatically pull your information. Thank you. Uh, hi, I have a question. Uh, how can it be used by um, enterprise customers, for people like uh, Wipro and Fee? I understand developers can use this, but is that also a possibility and how? So we are typically a SaaS platform. We host this data. We have tried doing enterprise with a large FI in the US, and it hasn't really worked well because there are a lot of components that run this whole aggregation network. So uh, we, we would, you could still, add a, we could do an enterprise SaaS deployment for you. Okay, thanks. So uh, I have one question. Uh, what kind of information do you get from an outside bank uh, for credential checks? So you said uh, one of the companies is using it for credential checks. So what kind of information can it get from the third party organization? I'm not sure what you mean by credential checks. So uh, you said one of the companies is using it for credential checks, right? I think he meant uh, oh, uh, user authentication. Okay, user authentication. So yeah, so we use that to validate that you really own the account. Right. So we get information like your account holder names, um, your what type of account you have, your balances, and then we will match that with what you tell us on this side. Is it also possible to get ID proofs or? Yeah. Uh, or may I request that we take this offline? I think we're completely out of time. Sure. Thank you. Thanks a lot, uh, Kiran. Sure. I think the fact that there are still more hands going up shows that uh, you know people really were interested in this. Um, and I, I guess there are a lot of people from Yodli. They're one of the uh, you know active uh, supporters of this event, and so I'm sure you can get a lot of questions answered outside as well. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Kiran. A small token from NASCOM. Thank you.